we're continuing our most dangerous approaches series and we're still in Greece Islands. Uh, today we're doing Samos Island. Now this is a great holiday destination, plenty of sun, uh, warm sea, mountains, everything as it should be. It's also one of the most dangerous approaches for pilots because Samus Airport has only VOR and NDB approaches, uh, mountains all around or sea, uh, small runway, and also uh, dangerous and compli complicated departure procedure and also very complicated arrival procedure as you'll see in the video. So we'll be doing a departure and then we'll be doing a landing on runway 09 with a go round and then also a landing on runway 09 with a viewer approach and a full stop. I hope you like the video, let's continue. Parking brake off and Take off power, so stabilized and take off power. Take off thrust. Eight knots. Check. V1, rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. Heading select. Heading select. Heading 204. 204. 1000. 204 set. Checked and one and speed 180. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. 180 set. Flaps one. Flaps one. Okay, oh. and level change. Two one zero. Okay, flaps up. Flaps up. Engage your armor. Your armor is on. on. Pilot on. And after takeoff procedure, after takeoff check. After takeoff checklist, engine bleeds on, backs auto, landing gear up and off, flaps. Up, no lights, altimeter 1013, 1013, cross check. After takeoff, check is complete. Okay, we're well, a lot more green. So we intercepted the VOR on 174, continue for 11 miles from the VOR, and then turn heading 234. So heading 174 for now, and speed 250. And we have moderate turbulence. Oh. Okay. Eleven miles, so heading two, three, four. And we'll intercept the NDB on 009. Uh, so that's it for runway 09 departure for Samos Airport. Uh, we had some wind shear that take off and we're still having moderate turbulence. Uh, we'll try to do a VOR approach on the same airport uh, on minimum conditions. 
and with a, a lot of weight, a lot of fuel. Okay, so at this point we are going directly to the Sierra Alpha Mike VOR and we will be intercepting course 160 from the VOR uh, for going for 9 miles, descending to 3000, then turning around and coming back at 1900 and when we see the runway, uh, we'll land on the runway 09 which goes perpendicular to the approach path at 90 degrees. So we are almost at the VOR, so approach checklist. Approach checklist, altimeter 101 in my side. 1013 on my side, first check. check. Approach setup. Approach setup, so we have course 160 set, altimeter 6000 for now, now will be 3000. We're clear for the approach and minimum is 1900 set on my side. On my side. The approach right. checklist completed. Okay, we engage the VOR mode. And heading to intercept. 175. So altitude 3000. 3000 set. Uh, speed 190, level change. 190 set, level change. And flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps one, green light. Check. And we have wind from the tail. Let's set one and five for intercept. And 6.5 miles from the VOR, we'll set 5,500. So we'll continue on 160 until we're at 3,000, then turn around and get ready for the landing. Okay, world lock mode is green. The other pilot is intercepting the course. We're heading 160 and 9 miles. We we'll continue for a little bit just to reduce the altitude. Speed brake. Half position. Okay, speed 170 and flaps 5. 170, set, flaps 5. Okay, and... Select mode. And course 358 on your side. 358 on my side as well. And heading... 310 down. Shift. And again, your arm out. Arm and heading 318. Okay, flaps 10. Flaps 10. Flaps 10, green light. And then in 3, 2, 8. Twelve point five miles. And 3, 3, 8. And we're low mode 3. So we intercept the VR and heading 3, 5, 8. And we're almost 9 miles from, we'll have to start to descend. Uh, so, gear down, flaps 15. Gear down, flaps 15. Okay, and we start to descend to 1,900, the minimum altitude. We'll use a vertical speed of 900 initially.
and the rear F speed is 137 plus 5, 142. So speed 142. Set. Check. Seven miles from the runway. And from the VMR. Nothing yet. And so flaps 30. Flaps 30. And landing checklist. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Mm -hmm. Speed brake. Arm. Arm. Landing gear. Down three green. Flaps. 30 green light. Check. Cabin. Secured. Before oh. landing checklist completed. Cabin crew sees for good landing. And we're at night one. 1900 minimum altitude and we continue if we will see the runway if we don't see the airport right above then we're right above we go around, if we see it, we still have 1,900 feet to cover, uh, to land on it. So 2.4 miles. The visibility is around 3 kilometers, so we'll be seeing the runway when we're 2 miles, around 2 miles from the VUR. So I can see the coast. Pilot is off. And we continue. 1.5 miles. And I can see the runway right ahead. So we turn to the left. And descend. Flight director is off. Auto throttle disengaged. And we turn back to the right. Positive rate, gear up. Gear up. Okay, flight director back on, and we turn to a three, heading three five eight. 
and altitude 6000. 6000 set and level change. Level change from. Thank you. Okay, we're clear on all obstacles, so auto will go back on. Speed one. 9 0. to intercept the VOR, so 338, 338 for intercept, and uh, flaps up, speed up, up. 220, Check. set, and after takeoff procedure. And after takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist, engine beat on, fax, auto, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights, altimeter 1013. 1013. Check, after takeoff checklist completed. Alright, so we'll turn around and try to do it again. Uh, if not, then we'll divert to alternative airport. That is usually what happens at Samus. Uh, visibility can be often uh, below minimums. So those that go on the holiday need to be aware of that. They can not always be landing on the airport they intended to. Yeah.